Working as an artist, I have often asked myself, where do I get my inspiration from? Does it just come from my mind? Does it come from my motivation? Or is it more complicated than that? Uh, this is a painting I did on time. This is just a, an analogy, but I'll go through it one step at a time, one stage after another. This is stage one. Um, I've turned my back on commercial work and time moves on. I decide to uh, do more research before committing myself to an idea. So like embryonic stage, information, uh, time moves on. Yeah, the spiral obviously represents the movement of time, flow of time. And after being, when I'm saturated with ideas, there's a moment that comes called what Eureka, yeah, illumination. Symbolically, my head pops out of the spiral of time, and it's looking up. What does it see? I see an idea. I get the idea. The key is hidden in in the relative future. But I've got the basic idea. The idea, the basic idea, or the basic key to this painting was the spiral put everything on the spiral and I overcome a major perspective problem and as all oh, this is an oil paint by the way it's a, it's took me months to do this painting but I'm very pleased with it uh, each stage that goes on obviously is, is is a moment in this thing called now yeah in time uh, I get more of the painting done once I've got the basic idea I just launch into it all the details come of their own, in their own time as it were, but the basic idea comes in a flash and this is it, this is the moment when I finish the painting and I simply remember the moment I, I found inspiration. Uh, I'm pointing, I'm actually poking the painting out of the spiral of time so that I can see it. <laughs> yeah, as I say, so these two moments uh, are connected and this uh, light, time and light and whatever they they can be bypassed. This is actually how I often uh, think where my inspiration comes from.